Good morning, Clouds of Tigers! It's whatever day your team says it is. I'm, I'm Megan. Presley. No, I'm Megan. I'm Presley. And I'm, and I'm on, on the Incredibles. Incredibles. Oh, oh my god, gosh, I know yes. you okay, Anyway, let, let's handshake it on and over to the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Now a few announcements for today are yearbook meets today after school. And the variety show dress rehearsal is on Thursday. Also, study lab will be available to students this week and next week. So be sure to check that out, but you need a ride because there are no buses, so... Yeah. Are you looking for something fun to do on Friday night? If so... The Boardwalk Branch of Mid-Continent Public Library is hosting a teen gaming walk-in on Friday, March 8th from 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Also, today's the last day to vote for Mark Twain and Truman Award nominees. So just vote. Yeah. Okay. It's time for March Madness, Library Edition. <laughs> Every week you can vote on your favorite books. So we will begin with the top 16 books checked out last month. Please vote on the Google form found in your library Google Classroom. Now let's faint it on over to the weather. Good morning to everybody. I hope that's important, what you're talking about right yes. now. Yeah, yeah, it is important. Sure it is. Hey, happy Tuesday. Nice to see you after a three-day weekend. Uh, is this it? Is that the last of the snow days for the year? Is that all? I don't even say Thursday. No. I don't I no, I think we're I think we're okay, at least for this week. We can relax a little bit. It looks like 40s for the weekend, maybe some rain. But maybe we're we're going to inch our way here into spring. We're going to limp our way into spring. All right, Tuesday game. This is a tough one. Unruly Rock. Oh, my gosh. I thought this was going to be hard. J. Crew just nailed it right away. <laughs> email me because you can't win. Or you can't win. <laughs> so email me if you've got it. Uh, all right, moving on to the weather. Cold, warmer tomorrow, warmer Thursday, warmer Friday. Thunderstorms. That'd be cool on <laughs> no, thunderstorms is good at this point. Um, and then 40s, so I think we're out of anything freezing uh, or snowing or things like that. Happy birthday to Drew on the Olympians. And uh, your birthday pencil, get that from, uh, get that from uh, Mr. Kalis. No staff birthdays. Birthday pencil is ice skating. Sweet. Here we go. Here we go. It's not ice skating. It just pops up on the ice rink, smiling with no legs. Yeah. Weather's brought to you by snow days. Yes, snow days. Never again. All right. <laughs> Struggling today. Really cool foreign words with no English translation. How about magnata? The road-like reflection of the moon in the water. Raise your hand if you've seen that before. You know what that you we're talking about? Yeah, we just say, really cool for reflection. Yeah, in English. All right, Tuesday game. Let's see who won. Uh, the clue was unruly rock. And the first correct answer, or the correct answer was rebel pebble. And the first correct answer is from... It's, uh, let's see, Annabelle E. was the first answer, Ruly Rumble. That won't work. The next correct answer was Caden P. from the Legends in Mrs. Bell's home base. No, Caden, sorry, you don't win. You said Ruly Rumble also. Uh, 
Let's move on up. Natalie M. from White's Home Base, smartest kid in the whole school, Rebel Pebble. No, uh, no yearbook today. My, my okay. Kid, my kid just threw up. We'll, we'll, okay. We'll do it next week, Tuesday or Thursday. Oh. All right. Couple last announcements. No yearbook today. You will not meet after school. Mr. Morrison has a sick child at home to go and clean up after. Um, ta a variety show. We are on for Friday with the variety show. Thursday after school is the final dress rehearsal. So if you are in the variety show, you should get a letter today uh, explaining what you need to know and your music. If you have music with your act, please get that to Mr. Morrison as soon as possible so we can have it ready for the, t the variety show. Variety show is Friday. Um, there's no Tiger time today, so carry on with your class meetings. Mrs. Stucker is on next. I'm out of here. You guys have a great Tuesday. See you in a week. i got to figure this out. Here we go. Uh, oh, I got it. All right, good morning, Pleasant. So good to see everyone. It was so nice to see all the smiles in the hallway. Oh my goodness, so glad to be back. Um, I'm here today to talk a little bit about technology, just make some re to remind you guys. Um, I see a lot of great appropriate behavior on your laptops and you're using it for school, you're using it appropriately, and I very, very much appreciate that because that um, just opens a world for you. But I just want to take an opportunity to remind you of some of the agreements that you have um, signed earlier in the year that you are responsible for your laptop. 100%. You are responsible, so don't leave it sitting someplace where it could get knocked over because if it gets bumped, you're going to have to pay for that. Um, and then just take, make sure you take care of it. And if something happens, you need to talk to technology about it. So your teachers can go through those specifically. I'm not going to go through all of them right now. Um, I just want to make sure that you know um, that use of the district um, issued device, your laptop, um, to do any of the following um, items on this screen is prohibited. A proxy server, bypass a district filter, Download or install unlicensed or unauthorized software without authorization. This is really important. Some of you guys may not even know what a proxy server is or anything like that or how to bypass the filter, which is a good thing and I'm very glad. But um, we need to make sure that we're not doing that because it is very, very unsafe. If you're bypassing, then um, the, you have, there might be more opportunity for you to um, engage in some more inappropriate behavior. And we're trying to keep you safe. That's why you don't get involved in these things. Um, just so you know that Park Hill has access to your laptop and all the information. Even if you think you're using a proxy server or bypassing the web filter, it's all on our district server. It all is there. So we can pull it up and we can see it if we need to. So please make sure that you are um, minding your manners. You know, one person told me one time, if, if it's something you wouldn't say to your grandma on the laptop or show to your grandma on the laptop, then don't do it. All right. So if you do have something on there you should not have, this is your opportunity to uninstall. So I would take a moment to uninstall something. So just so you know how to uninstall, the bottom left side of your screen there is that window. You click on that window and then you click on your settings. There we go. And then you click on apps and you pick the app that you want to uninstall. I don't know why I keep doing that. I just picked Adobe. I'm not going to uninstall Adobe, but it just shows you what it looks like on the screen whenever you can um, take to delete that and you just uninstall that. Okay? But we're not going to uninstall Adobe, but we are um, going to. If you have a technology violation, these are the list of all the things that could happen. It could just be a conversation with me or Mr. Early. could be a detention. You could lose your privileges on your laptop. It, it, depending on the severity, it could be in-school suspension or out-of-school suspension. So I just want to make you aware 
that that's how serious these things can be because we're trying to keep you very, very safe. All right, guys, um, I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Is there anybody after me? Nope. I think that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Thank you, Ms. Stucker. Today for lunch, we have macaroni and cheese or a breaded chicken sandwich. And the premium meal is Big Daddy's Pizza. It's time for kindness stars, but I'm melancholy because we don't have any. Melancholy is also the word of the week. It means I'm very sad. Duh. Okay. Um, it's on time for the sign-off. It's, it's a, a great day to be a tiger. <laughs> Rawr!